the first topic in the first module of analog circuit is bjt biasing okay so before going on to the topic we should know what is meant by biasing so biasing is applying a dc voltage for keeping the transistor in the desired region of operation okay so we know that the transistor has three modes of operation right so if we example since we are dealing with your common emitter configuration so let us uh, uh, see the output characteristics of common emitter configuration so what is common emitter configuration of a transistor emitter will be grounded your base is going to be your input right base emitter will be your input and collector emitter is going to be your output so if you take the output characteristics of your ce configuration a graph which is plotted between your output parameter so what will be your output parameter one is your output current i uh, c and your output voltage that is your vce keeping was what as constant your input current as constant i b so i b if i can take it as uh, 10 micro ampere 20 micro ampere i b is equal to 20 micro amp, it goes on right so it works in three modes of operation so this region is called as your cutoff region Second region is called, so this region is called as your saturation region and your middle part is called as your active region, okay. So if your transistor has to act as a switch, it will operate in cutoff region and saturation region, that is it will act as on off, right. So if your transistor has to act as an amplifier, it has to operate in the active region. So you have to fix an uh, operating point such that it is in the middle of your active region. Okay. So by means of your, it is, uh, it is given by means of your DC load line and AC load line. So here you are going to do the DC analysis. So we are interested only in using your DC supply. Okay. So basically you are biasing. In this chapter, you are going to study two different types of biasing. One is called as your voltage divider bias and the second one is called as your collector to base bias. So the voltage divider bias is called the classical discrete uh, circuit bias and the second one is your collector to base feedback uh, resistor biasing. So what is meant by voltage divider? The name itself gives you the meaning. So in the case of voltage divider biasing, the input side consists of uh, two resistors or a voltage divider resistor R1 and R2 across your VCC. That's why it has the name as voltage divider bias. Whereas in the case of collector to base bias, collector to base, from the collector you are going to connect your resistor RB that is your base resistor to the base. Okay, that's why you have the name as collector to base bias. The resistor RB or your base resistor is connected from the collector to the base. Okay, so these are the two different uh, different types which you are going to study with the diagram now let us go on to the analysis of your voltage divider bias okay so let me draw the diagram once again so if we take the diagram of your voltage divider biasing so the same diagram i am going to redraw it once again you will have an, a resistor emitter resistor re which is the stability resistor you have a resistor RC and across the input you have your two voltage divider resistor that is your R1 and R2. You will be having a supply which is connected. Now what will be your currents? So the current flowing across RC will be equal to IC. right? The current flowing across R1 will be taken as I1. The current flowing across R2, let me take it as I2. The current flowing across RE is taken as IE. So this is going to be your plus VBE input voltage plus to minus and here it is going to be plus to minus VCE collected to emitter voltage. So these are this is the diagram right. This is your emitter base and your collector okay. So now I am going to redraw the circuit in the input side okay. So we are concentrating in the input side. So that we can convert it into a Thevenin's equivalent circuit in the input side. So if I can take the resistor RE, okay, RE. So across the input, see here from the base you have resistor R2 going to your ground. Let me draw it as such, R2 growing, going to the ground. And from the base again you have a resistor R1 which is going to your VCC, okay. So again you have a resistor, if I can take the resistor R1, 
which is connected to your VCC that is positive side. Okay. Negative of the VCC will be grounded. Okay. So this is going to be your circuit. Redrawn circuit. So this will be your current flow. It's negative, negative uh, ground. So it is a, there is a loop here. So I can again redraw, redraw this input side into your Thevenin sequence circuit. Replacing your source by uh, Thevenin sequence circuit can be replaced by a single voltage source Thevenin source and your uh, resistor that is your Thevenin's resistance RTH. So in this case we are going to take R, VTH is equal to VBB and RTH Thevenin's resistor uh, we are going to take it as your resistor RB because it is your input resistor. So again I am going to redraw the circuit into Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So Thevenin's equivalent circuit across the input side. So what you will be getting your RE remains the same. Now you are going to replace the input side by a resistor and your Thevenin's voltage. So this is taken as VBB which is equal to your V Thevenin and this is going to be your RB which is equal to R Thevenin. Okay. Now what will be your RB? So RB is equal to here you have R1 parallel to R2. So RB will be equal to R1 parallel to R2. Right. That is what is a uh, formula R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 equal to what? V Thevenin will be your uh, voltage across your resistor R2. Right. So, uh, what is your V Thevenin by means of your voltage division rule? The source voltage that is VCC into the resistor across the uh, voltage which you have find out. That is R2 divided by the sum of the resistor R1 plus R2. So, this will be your VBB and your RB. Okay. So, now you are going for your next uh, step. Okay. To find out the value for your current IE and IB. Okay. Analysis by means of analysis how you are going to find out the value of your uh, currents okay so starting off with if we apply kcl sorry kvl applying kvl across the input loop so if i apply kvl so this is a loop right closed loop here it is negative here it is negative so applying the kvl kirchhoff voltage law that is second law across the input loop what what is the equation you will be getting so here you have negative to positive current flow is towards this direction so i am taking the equation in this direction okay so here it is minus to plus so take the second potential so plus vbb here the current flow is from plus to minus so it is minus so what is meant by before that what is meant by kirchhoff voltage law kirchhoff voltage law means the oh, sum of the voltages across the loop will be equal to zero okay so plus vbb is the first voltage what is the so now what is the voltage across the resistor rb rb is equal to ib into rb right so here it is plus to minus so second potential minus ib into rb across the junction you have a voltage that is equal to VBE right so plus to minus so minus VBE and the loop gets completed here right plus to minus the current flowing is equal to IE so minus second potential IE RE is equal to 0 okay so this is the equation what you are getting now you group all the voltages VBB minus VBE will be equal to IB, RB, I am just reconfiguring it, RB plus IE, RE, okay. So, let me take this as equation 1. Now, already you know from the current, for CE configuration, your current equations you know, right. What are the current equations you, you current equations, you know that the current IE is equal to sum of the collector current and your base current but you know that ic is equal to beta into ib so since ic is equal to beta into ib when you substitute this ie is equal to beta into ib plus ib from this can you take ib as common ib into beta plus 1 right so this is one equation of your ie what you are getting i is equal to beta uh, IB into beta plus 
similarly what is from this can you calculate what is IB IB is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1 so you have got two equations so can I substitute this equation of IB in 1 when I substitute if I take this as 2 okay substitute 2 that is IB is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1 <coughs> in equation 1 what will you get VBB minus VBE is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1 <coughs> into RB plus IE RE. So if I take IE as common, what will you get? RE plus RB divided by beta plus 1. So here you have VBB minus VBE. So if I take this down, I will get the value for IE. So IE will be equal to VBB minus VBE divided by RE plus RB divided by beta plus 1. Now you have found out the value for IE. Now can we find out the value for IB? What will be the value for IB? So you know that IE is equal to <coughs> IE is equal to beta plus 1 into IB. Right. So substitute IE is equal to beta plus 1 into IB in equation 1. So what will you get? So VBB minus VBE is equal to IB RB plus what is your IE? IE is equal to beta plus 1 into IB. So similarly now you take IB as common. So what you will get VBB minus VBE is equal to when I take IB as common RB plus here you have into RE, right? Into RE. So, beta plus 1 into RE. Okay. So, just similar to that of the previous equation. So, you will be getting IB is equal to VBB minus VBE divided by RB plus beta plus 1 into RE. So, this is going to be your IB equation, equation of the current. So, you have your IE and IB. Okay. So, there are two assumptions. Okay. In order to make your IE insensitive to temperature and beta variation, you have to take the value of VBB. Okay. VBB should be very, very greater than VBE. Similarly, RE should be very, very greater than RB by beta plus 1. So these are two assumptions. So as per a thumb, thumb rule you for design purpose you will be taking VBB then VCB and VC all approximately equal to 1 by 3 VCC. Okay. So now let's move on to the analysis of the second type that is your collected to base bias. Okay. So let me draw the diagram once again. Okay. So collector to base bias so what was your diagram so you have the emitter to be grounded okay and you have had your collector resistance RC connected to VCC and from the collector you had your resistor RB right so this was your circuit so the current flowing across RB is equal to IB. The current flowing from your uh, VCC through RC will be a combination of both IC and IB, right? So IC plus IB which is equal to IE. So, they, uh, so the same current IE flows, uh, flows through your emitter also. So this is your output voltage, okay? V out. So in the case of DC analysis, if you apply the input loop equation, okay, positive to negative. So across the input loop what you will be getting so first uh, you have your supply applying KVL across input loop okay. So Kirchhoff voltage law just similar to that of the previous one so you have plus VCC okay and here the current is from plus to minus. 
So you will be getting minus what is the current I can take it as IE and your resistor is RC voltage is IE RC across the input right now next you have plus to minus so minus second potential IB RB okay so here you have it goes like this right so you have plus to minus VBE so minus VBE is equal to zero so now what will be your value you, we have to find out the value for IE right so we will separate all the values VCC minus just reconfigure it minus VB is equal to take the other two parameters through the next side so you will be getting IE RC plus IB RB right now you already you have uh, you sorry IB RB so you already you know the value for IB in terms of IE right so IB is equal to what is the value IE divided by beta plus 1 so substitute this instead of IB what you will be getting VCC minus VBE which is equal to IE RC plus IE divided by beta plus 1 into RB okay now if I take IE as common so IE into what will be the value RC plus RB divided by beta plus 1 which is equal to VCC minus VBE. So what will be your IE? IE will be equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RC plus RB divided by beta plus 1. So this is going to be your current IE for your collector to base bias. Now can you uh, find out the difference here IE is equal to VCC minus VBE. So in the previous case it was equal to VBB. So here the VCC is uh, the difference here in the previous case was your VBB and what is your next value RE plus RB by beta plus 1. So here your RC is replaced by sorry R E in the previous case is replaced by R C. So only difference is between your V B B and R E which is replaced by V C C and R C in this case. Okay. So this is your analysis of collector to base bias. In the next video we will see the problems related to this biasing.